Martin Luther King once said, when people walk by a church, they look at the building and they ask themselves, what kind of people worship here? I wonder what they're like. If you've been clicking on the Presbyterian Kirk and the Pines webpage or driving around the village, you're probably curious as well. Who worships at that church set in the pine trees at the corner of Carmona and Asturias? As these pews fill up on Sunday morning, who will I see? Will I like them? Will I fit in there? The Presbyterian Kirk in the Pines is home to an incredibly warm, open-hearted group of people. We hail from as far east as New York and as far west as California and everywhere in between. From states as close as Texas and Louisiana and right here in Arkansas, we've lived in Germany and Africa and as far away as Scotland. What we have in common is that we've all left behind a familiar place and we found a welcoming home here at this Kirk. Of course, we're all villagers now. Some who worship here are movers and shakers in this expansive adult community. Some live modestly on fixed incomes. We're card players, riders, sports enthusiasts, tennis players and golfers. Some of us are married and some of us are single. Some of us retired and some of us still working. Some of us even raised Presbyterian and some of us of course grew up in other faith traditions. We don't all look alike, we don't all act alike. God knows we don't all think alike. What unites us is our commitment to share the love of God. When we do that through worship and study, nurture and service to others. Here at the Kirk, we found a safe haven to discuss tough issues and to explore our faith in the living God. We are joyful. We like to sing, we like to play, we like to pray. We're passionate about our service. We take seriously our Lord's directive to see the needs of the homeless and the sick and the hungry met. We collect food, we cook and serve at local shelters and clothe homeless veterans. We help build affordable homes for families and rebuild homes damaged by natural disasters. We advocate for the abused and neglected children and we mentor students at local schools. Our staff and volunteers are committed to helping our own members deal with aging and the difficulties of life. Our Hoffius Hall houses a full commercial kitchen that feeds homebound members of our own church and the needy neighbors just outside our doors. We also lend a hand to communities across our state, our nation, and even the world. We're determined as a church not to check our hearts and minds at the door as we travel together in this next phase of our lives. We look for signs of grace in the world and we point them out to each other and at the same time seek to be transformed and swept up into God's holy purpose. Well, that's us. If you're still curious, we'd be delighted to welcome you to our Sunday morning worship service or the Saturday evening informal service. You are indeed welcome. We've got a spot for you, things for you to do, and a story for you to help us tell. Come check us out. You might just find yourself a home.